Hi everyone, it's Lisa from the, the Middleton Chamber of Commerce. And today I'm at Miramont Behavioral Health Center with the new CEO here, Saad Niazi. Hi Saad, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you today? Good, thanks for letting us come in. Our pleasure, happy to have you here. So Saad, I know that mental health is a tough thing to talk about. Can you share maybe what your favorite part of the industry is? Absolutely. Um, my favorite part is being able to make a difference uh, with the patients we see here every day um, and really working as a team to be able to get them back home and improve the quality of life for our patients here and the community uh, because these are our community members. There are police officers, our teachers, our doctors, um, our babysitters, whatever the case may be. So the people who really serve us on a day-to-day -day basis and being able to serve them um, is the best part of my job. Sure, that's great. Um, so what do you think are some common misconceptions about behavioral health centers? Uh, I think we've all seen one flew over the cuckoo's nest and you know, the very um, institutionalized stigma that mental health hospitals have here, but we really do so much more and so much has changed over even the last 15 years. Um, we use art therapy, we use pet therapy, we use social workers, nurses, doctors um, as a team. And we look at the whole body as a whole, not only the brain, but the body as well for medical professionals, for medicine doctors. Um, but the other misconception is, you know, a large majority of our patient population are homeless, transient, on drugs, um, when it's actually quite the opposite. Um, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of our patients are everyday working persons, teachers, police officers, firefighters, who have gone through a lot of trauma or have experienced a traumatic incident um, that required them to be here. You know, I always like to say that I think all of us are one step away from needing help or one life event away from needing help. We want to be a resource for that. And um, the more stigma we could take away and allow people to open up and talk, Hopefully we will never need a place like this, but until then, uh, we're here to serve the community and everybody in the community. Sure, um, you know, COVID has been really challenging for everybody. So if somebody watching this is finding themselves in crisis or knows somebody that might be needing some extra help right now, do they need a referral to come here to see you or how does that work? Absolutely not. So if you're experiencing crisis at all, you could call us 24 seven, 365 days a year. Uh, we always have nurses and therapists here available. So you can walk in and speak to somebody um, and seek help. You do not need a referral. You do not need to go to the ER. You can always just walk in and we're always available to assist. Okay, that's great to know. Um, I know we're talking about a heavy subject here, but Saad, you know, what is something about you that might surprise our viewers to know? Uh, let's see. So I'm originally from Southern California. I moved here about three months ago. I have never been in snow. Ever. <laughs> okay, wait, just wait. <laughs> so I came, I came, I moved to Wisconsin at a good time uh, during the summer, uh, but never been in snow, never shoveled snow, never driven in snow. So I am looking forward or excited for that new experience. So I'm sure a lot of people out there could give me some good tips on I, what I to do. I bet we can. If anybody has any good tips, and this is on our social media channels, comment below for Sad. Please. Um. And so we'll, we will put your contact information um, with this, but is there anything else that you want our viewers to know today? I just want to let, they first thank everybody uh, for their support uh, for the hospital and the community. Um, I just want to let people know it's okay to come out and ask for help. Uh, we're here, we're, we'd much rather you come and talk and ask for help um, than suffer in silence. And unfortunately we've seen a lot of people over especially during COVID, um, suffer in silence or by themselves. So you don't need to be alone. You're here. We're here to help you 24-7. Um, so please reach out to us or one of your local community resources like NAMI. Um, we're all here to help. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, Saad, for letting us come in today and sharing some important information. Um, and we will see everybody later. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Bye. Bye.